Welcome to the Nexus for another Star Trek Online Starship Collection ship, the USS Andromeda, NCC uh, 92100. It's a really nice one. It's issue number three. Uh, some nice ships on the back. Uh, the Pathfinder there, Europa, Baran, Gem Hadar, Cruiser there. We've got a Romulan one and a Klingon one there. Uh, what you get in the box, yeah, magazine as well nice on the side there like i said before these are really nice especially if you're in box collector i'm just going to turn off that light because it's shining there there we go um if you're an inbox collector then these are really really nice you have a nice window view here uh though the ship is kind of big in there and i love the size of this one um yeah it's really really nice there's uh, some cutways out of the magazine so let's take a look and see what we get in the box So once again, we get this nice, I mean look at that, that ship looks so cool. It's a really nice size as well. Uh, so we get a number, uh, issue 3 there, nice nice book there, uh, Andromeda class, Andromeda ship there. We also get what we, we seem to be getting in every, uh, in every one now, it's a 50% off coupon to go towards any tier 6 ship, uh, PC only. Uh, I don't want to keep saying it, but like I said, I don't play on PC anymore. So that is that. Nice gesture, though. Uh, I'm sure people will get a lot of use out of that. So let's take a look at the magazine. So, USS Andromeda. Uh, Andromeda class, a 25th century exploration cruiser. So, uh, yeah, it's a really nice ship. Um, there's a, a picture of it there in the game. Once again, we get uh, some sort of uh, in-universe information on the ship. So this is a sort of um, uh, a sort of galaxy class slash 2.0 2 sort of thing. So this is like the the evolution step from the galaxy class, um, and it shares very much characteristics of it, but it's very different. Uh, but yeah, so this is like the upgraded uh, Galaxy Class version. Uh, we get this here as well. Um, sensor vents. We got a pro we got a phaser ring there. Main shuttle bay. Uh, warp nacelles as well. Rapid flux warp coil assembly, which is really cool. Starfleet exploration vessel as well. Crew eight hundred and thirty. Uh, this is coming on to design, so once, like I said before, uh, this is like, um, it's a homage to the Galaxy Class Starship, which it says there. So, which is also in the game, but this is a sort of um, a 25th century version. So this is like the upgraded version. Something that would replace it when it got too old sort of thing, which is really nice. Uh, then we come on to STA Lord, so the Iconians return. So uh, the Iconians are quite... Distinguished through the uh, through the Star Trek Online uh, experience there. Uh, then we come on to that. Issue 4 is our first Klingon ship, which is really nice. I uh, I actually own this ship in the game. So as my uh, my Klingon officer in the ship actually owns this game. Uh, actually owns this ship, shall I say. Look, I'm getting muddled up now. Uh, nice stats as well. So in-game stats. So it's a tier 6. Obviously, uh, you can see it's hull, turn rate 6, uh, console slots. Uh, then it has um, these as well, uh, which are sort of the, the special stuff it comes with. Uh, so let's have a look at the ship. Okay, so this is the ship out of the box. I've got to say, um, yeah, there's a bit of overhang. It, it's, it's positioned really weirdly on the, on the stand. Now... I thought it might go like that, but it doesn't. Uh, that's how you expect it to sit, so it sort of fully covers the base. But it doesn't, it sits like this. And it means, if I can just tip that up, that the base overextends and it extends quite far up the back, as you can see there. Anyway, that's the stand. It holds it really, really nicely in there. Uh, the top section of this is... The saucer section is all die cast. And the colouring on these ships is just 
I mean, it's just amazing. The colours that they've got on here. You can definitely see that this is a much more sleeker Galaxy class ship, though it's not a Galaxy class. This is um, Andromeda class on there. So we uh, zoom up on this? Let's zoom up on it. So there we are. As you can see, it does say uh, Andromeda and it does have the registry number there. I'm just going to try and see if I can actually get that up a little bit clearer. It, it sort of says it. It's very... Mm, it sort of fades off near the end there, but it's quite small to see, but it is there. There's the design around the saucer section, which is really, really nice. It's got this sort of... This is like the TOS levy that it's got on it. And you can tell because of the uh, the United Federation emblems that it's got there. But the, once again, they're not very uh, detailed. There just seem to be a blue dot with the uh, feathers going around it. But, I mean, from afar, you can, uh, you can tell what it is. Um, there's the back as well. So there's the impulse engine right there. We've got the warp and the sails just here. These are all plastic, these, these are. And as you can see there, they sort of wobble. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, I'm loving the colouring on this. Uh, underneath, I'm loving the uh, the deflector dish there, as you can see. Look at that. It's a much clearer plastic. It's got this sort of um, deflector design on it, which is really, really nice. If I can uh, just zoom there, that's it. Uh, yeah, so it uses the, the light plastic. Uh, just here on the uh, warp nacelles there and obviously on the deflector dish as well but the, the light plastic goes through the blue there and the, the blue side collectors at the front but yeah you can definitely see that this is um, it definitely plays homage to the uh, galaxy class starship definitely this is the, the shuttle bay here at the top here and uh, some more writing there registry number and a very faint Andromeda sign there. I'm loving the sort of digital print that it has here. I mean the detail on this I'm so glad I picked these up. I mean these are just so good. They're so nice. So so impressed with these. Um, anyway tell me what you think. I, you know what I mean? I, I really 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 like these. And I can't wait for the rest of them to come out. There's so many on the uh, STO that can uh, be done. Uh, but yeah, I'm really loving this. Uh, and this would look this looks really, really nice against the Enterprise D as well. The Galaxy Class Starship. Um, yeah. Like I said, you can really see it's it's got a much bigger sort of neck section, but you can definitely tell the saucer, the way the the water cells are, the deflect dish. It's very galaxy class ish, but it's different, which makes it really cool. And like I said, very, very sleek. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, tell us what you think, and uh, we'll see you at the next video.